Hey, this is Tegan. So, so far in the quest for the optimized blog post, we have talked about how to do keyword research, how to make a snappy title, and how to write a blog post all with your keywords in mind. So now I'm going to talk about hyperlinks. And a hyperlink is when you have an embedded link in a post, like this little guy here, and when you click it, it will go to a different website. Now the reason hyperlinks are important is because they show Google that you are an authority on whatever subject that you're talking about, specifically your keywords, because you're linking out to other websites about the keyword. And it's not just any website. You're linking to a website that is a trusted source of information. But I'll go into that a little bit more later. So, in any blog post, you should have about three hyperlinks, and you should have one in the first paragraph. So here I have my first hyperlink, and it goes to this Wikipedia page about ninja stars. To make a hyperlink, you find a trusted source. And I'm going to go and I'm going to put it in the article when I start talking about origami. So I click, I highlight my word that I want it to be linked as. I'm going to click link. I'm going to paste in the URL. And I want to make sure it says open link in a new window or tab. So that way my viewers aren't taken away from the website. They will have that page open in a new window for them, but they'll still get to stay and read the rest of the article. So that's how you embed a hyperlink. Um, also something to take into account is what word you're linking on. If I were to link on the word is, that wouldn't be that helpful because is is a very generic word and doesn't relate to any of my keywords. But linking to things like ninja star or origami helps to promote that this article is about how to make an origami ninja star. Um, I'm also going to link down here where I mentioned Japan to this uh, Japanese government website about tourism in Japan. And this is a good example of a really trusted site because it's a government website instead of just any generic website I could find in Japan. So once I've embedded my hyperlinks on good strong anchor text, meaning the word that I embed the link on, to some strong trusted websites, I can now move on to the next phase of SEOing and optimizing my blog posts, which is meta descriptions, which I'll talk about in the next video.